even when you talk, it picks it up. these guys puppies I love them So will this go for as long as yeah, I... Until you push the button again. Really? Yep. Oh, we got to get one doing the, doing the dirty back there. <laughs> Hi, Shasta. Hi, Shasta. Come here, Shasta. You can tell Shasta apart from Wintu, because Wintu is obviously a lot bigger. Yeah, the other blonde right. sisters in the back is uh, Sierra. And Sierra actually has a scar over her muzzle uh, right here on the left side. Uh huh. That's from a rattlesnake bite. Oh. Uh, she's been a very lucky pup. She's gotten uh, two abscesses on her foot from foxtails. Oh, tails. wow. Um, so she was medically treated, I would imagine. She just uh, didn't recover on her own. She recovered completely on her own. Really? Are, do they have some sort of like immunity or they are way to fight that? They are better than uh, dogs are. Okay. Um, we've often had adult wolves get bitten. They get a slight swelling and then it heals well on their own. Uh-huh. Um, That's good. Good to know. Did you uh. get that puppy licking the mama? Or the... Oh, I don't know. I didn't wannabe papa. He's not the actual dad, but he uh, he guards these pups like they're his. Aww. How old is he? He's eight. And that's considered a pup still? No, he's older now. Um, he's actually senior at this age. So what is their lifespan in captivity? In captivity, it's about 12 to 13. Okay, so it's like a dog. Yep. Uh, we're lucky we get about 15 years on average here. Okay. Actually, it's better than a big a big dog is usually less than that, so it's better. Yeah. Um, these guys don't get hip dysplasia like you do with dogs. They right. don't get bloat. Uh, they don't get the bad knees or elbows. They do get arthritis, but that's just aging. So yes. No way to stop that. Tell me about it. <laughs> I wish this thing had a zoom. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, I just want to pet you. <laughs> yeah, they're getting a little bored with us at the moment. Yeah, like I said. There's our photographer, Mark. Hello. Hello. Say hello. Oh. <laughs> Come here, guys. There's more peppermint. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. The smell is pretty much a signal to themselves, in itself for them. Oh, 
<laughs> no quick oh. movements. <laughs> Yeah, that's what they're that's what they're waiting for. Was that a cough or what? No, that's a dominance display. Oh. One wolf was trying to put another wolf in its place and that wasn't her job. Oh, okay. Sisters, you know. Yeah, that often happens at our house, too. <laughs> Usually me putting him in his place. Sounds the same. <laughs> yeah, a lot of those iconic photos you see of them staring directly in the camera. I'm going to sit down. No. Especially in the snow. They're wincing and they're squinting because it's so bright. Those are hard to get good snow. <laughs> Hi oh, there. Talk to you. That's not a very dignified pose. <laughs> where? Where? He has his legs just sprawled out in front of him. Oh, I don't. I'm not. Oh, there. <laughs> I can't believe she could smell the food from way up there. Well, I think she hears the bag. Is what it is. Our dogs come a running when they hear a bag crinkle. Go back there. It's for the other. I'm trying to get the shy guy down here because he's the only one I can get the sometimes howl with me. Mm -hmm. The shy one's up there. Yeah, he's way back there. So he hasn't been down here at all. He can't. He was one of the five original ones. Oh, okay. Um, and then he disappeared. enclosure um it's just he's never gotten really comfortable around people right which is fine with us considering it's a two acre enclosure there's only one viewing area he can disappear anytime he wants mm -hmm. you can tell they're pretty well fed because they're not they're not like going at it ravenously but today is a feeding day for them, so oh, they're okay. hungry because we only feed them twice a week. <gasps> You're kidding! To mimic Are... like they would be fed out in the wild. Oh, okay. Wow. So um, they're getting wow. close to 250 pounds, though. Hi there, guy. Hi. Yeah. I'm I mean, getting a good a shot of this one. Down your food. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. Just, this is incredible. I love this. Makes me miss, miss Tashu. Oh, I love that dog. He was a, a flute player and a flute maker, and this guy just lived for the magic of the world. And now, with Tashu, you could get up close and personal, and she loved it. She really took to me, too. It's like she took me under her wing and kind of took care of me. Like, you know, like I was a pack member. Yeah. Yeah, these guys actually have a pack, so they don't trust us too much. They yeah. trust each other, but... She, she, I think she wanted a pack. Yeah. <laughs> so she was getting every, rounding everyone up.
hard to believe that people want to kill these beautiful animals. I just, I just don't get it. I mean, hunters say it's for sport. <sighs> ranchers, and, I think ranchers are probably the only ones I understand shooting them if they're actively killing their cows. Right. Uh, Ooh, you want to steal my camera? You want to steal it? Donkeys steal? are the best huh? deterrent. You want to steal my camera? Wolves. Yeah. Only if you don't mind losing a few donkeys. Exactly. Hi. Yeah. So you have to make a choice, either losing the donkeys or losing the cows. So, um, surprisingly, donkeys are actually really good with cheetah prevention. Oh, cheetah? Cheetah. They're cheaper, they can eat the natural grass than the dog, compared to a dog. Uh, and when they're not actively protecting the flock, they Hi can there. be helping you Hi. whatever you need them. Oh, sorry, dust coming through. Well, you might be getting mainly puppy photos from now on. The adults have kind of decided they're done. Besides yeah. Kiana. <laughs> Mark, can you take stills from what I'm doing here or not? Yeah, of course. Good. Because I got some nice close ups. Okay. It's still on camera on the yeah. video mode, so it's time to turn it off. Oh really? Okay. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>